Okay, so it does seem like we have some more clarity moving forward on what can happen before the election when it comes to stimulus negotiations and a new stimulus package being approved. Before we get started, please make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications so you can see when I post my next video. Okay, so I'm going to be putting up a quick article that just kind of gives us a quick rundown on what happened today. As you guys know, if you guys saw my last video, 48 hours was a timeline that Nancy Pelosi gave in order for the de Democrats and the Republicans to come to an agreement on a stimulus package that can ap be approved before the, you know, the November 3rd election. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin engaged in fast-paced negotiations on Tuesday to cut a deal on a major relief package that could pass before Election Day, but Senate Republicans continue to throw cold water. Now, Senate Republicans, I'm pretty sure that they're referring to is who they're referring to is Steven Mnuchin, um, who's not the best of guys, to be honest, in my opinion. He's pretty negative. Him and Nancy Pelosi basically cancel each other out. They're horrible people, to be honest, when it comes to these types of negotiations and it just sucks that they're the ones practically in charge um, okay so for 45 minutes on Tuesday afternoon the two plan to resume talks on Wednesday being tomorrow so Steven Steven Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi will well at least was planned to resume talks tomorrow to hash out their differences on a range of matters ranging for state and local government funding jobless benefits funding for schools and liability protections for businesses among other matters now, Pelosi, after these conversations, did seem optimistic that a deal may, or may get done before the election. However, time is really not on their side. Again, Nancy Pelosi is the one that gave the 48-hour timeline on Sunday, meaning that by the end of Tuesday, by the end of today, if it was not resolved and a package was agreed on, there's a pretty good chance that a stimulus package would not be approved until after the election, if it even gets approved if that's a big if at least in my opinion so pelosi said tuesday that the two sides are close to resolving a key sticking point over money for coronavirus testing and contact tracing honestly that is literally not a priority right now people in america need stimulus checks and enhanced unemployment benefits again with the package that the republicans or the white house had offered the democrats a 1.8 trillion dollar package close to 1.9 it included the enhanced benefits, benefits going up until January 21st of 2021 and another round of stimulus checks, which is obviously the main and key points that should be included with any stimulus package. People are not concerned with any coronavirus testing, especially if it's going to go if it's going to hold off on people getting their money on time or getting their money as soon as possible. So, again, Nancy Pelosi, that's where I think she's she she has a big issue on her hands just by the fact that she has not approved a package because of the contact tracing. Contact tracing, in my last video, I really went over it. If you guys want to take a look at that, exactly what it is, or literally just Google it. It's really as simple as it as it seems by reading the word contact tracing. You just find out who had coronavirus, which is pretty easy to determine, obviously. So again, I'm going to keep going down this article. Now, where it gets interesting is that Nancy Pelosi, again, she really does seem optimistic at this point where she said the following, our conversation provided more clarity and common ground as we move closer to an agreement. Today's deadline enabled us to see that, that decisions could be reached and language could be exchanged, demonstrating that both sides are serious about finding a compromise. Just think about what she's saying here, that both sides are serious about finding a compromise. It is October 20th as I'm making this video. They have not found an agreement on a stimulus package since, when was it? March, April time? I think we received our checks around that time. And I, I think it was the Heroes Act that was approved around March, February? Let's just say March, something like that. It's taken them seven months to finally demonstrate that both sides are serious about a compromise. What do you guys think has happened the last seven months? What do you guys do? You guys think they're actually working or or just getting the check? I mean, they're, I'm pretty sure they're still getting their checks when, you know, most of America is out of work. Um, so where it starts to get more interesting, as I, like I mentioned, the Senate Republicans, especially McConnell. Mitch McConnell is a bad guy here, not just Nancy Pelosi. I go off on Nancy Pelosi a lot because it is her fault a lot of the time. But Mitch McConnell is, again, it's they're twins, in my opinion. No disrespect to any twins. These are horrible twins. Um, 
That's a horrible twin to have, McConnell and Pelosi. Oh, my God. They literally do not care about the American people. So this is something that that at a closed door lunch today on Tuesday kind of came out um, where McConnell indicated that the deal was unlikely to get a vote in his chamber before Election Day, according to multiple sources. And he said he warned the White House against getting behind such a proposal before November 3rd that would badly divide Senate Republicans. So this comes after Donald Trump has been basically pushing to go big or go home on any type of stimulus package being agreed on. So McConnell is basically saying that that's kind of that was kind of far-fetched that that something like that is probably never going to get approved and now it seems like it's not at least before the election mitch mcconnell is the one that's at the moment seems to be holding off any progress as well nancy pelosi has obviously had her fault but a lot's happened a lot's happened in the last seven months that i think that they just wasted their time, wasted our time actually, wasted your time, I'm pretty sure. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think is going to happen moving forward. And do you guys expect more good news? Um, I know this wasn't good news, but do you guys expect good news to, to happen tomorrow or even the next day or later this week? Please let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.